G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. There are many cheesecake recipes out there, but this one not only looks good, it also tastes fantastic too. So join me today as I make my version of a white and dark cheesecake. Okay, so we're gonna start off by making our base. Now into the bowl here, I've got about 300 grams worth of chocolate cookies. And what I've done is I've put them through a food processor. Now if you don't have a food processor, just put them into a Ziploc bag and bash them silly with a rolling pin. Next, I've got our butter here that I've just melted in the microwave. All the ingredients are in the description. So with the melted butter and our cookie mixture, we're just gonna just give it a good stir till it's completely combined. Next, I have a spring form pan. I've just lined the base with some non-stick baking paper. Now with some cooking spray oil, just going to give it a quick grease. Then we're going to pour our cookie mixture onto the base. So just going to give it a good spread out. And using the base of a cup, just going to push it up against the edges and we're just going to flatten it out, just so it's all nice and even. Okay, once it's nice and compacted, we're going to place this in the fridge while we get started on the next step. Okay, so next into a microwave safe bowl, we're going to place in our chopped up dark chocolate. And to that's half of our sour cream. Now we're going to put this in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time, and we're going to stir it each time until it's completely melted and combined. Now for the main cheesecake part. So into a mixing bowl, we're going to place in our cream cheese that I've let soften up to room temperature. And then to that, 200 grams or one cup of caster sugar. Half a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And the other half of our sour cream. Now using a hand mixer or a stand mixer, we're going to beat this up until it's nice and smooth. Okay, now that it's nice and smooth, we're going to place in our lemon zest. And then two tablespoons of plain flour. Now once that's mixed in, we're going to start pouring in our eggs. And we're going to do it one at a time. So we're going to do one beat in. Once that's completely mixed through, we're going to do the second one, then the third one. Okay, so everything has been mixed through. So we have our base here that I've just taken out of the fridge and we're gonna grab our mix. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour three quarters of the mix onto the base. And then we're just gonna give it a nice spread around. Now with the remaining mixture, we're gonna pour that chocolate mix that we made up earlier right into there. And we're just gonna mix this for a couple minutes just until it's well combined. And finally with our chocolate mix, we're just going to carefully pour that on top of the white base. And just very carefully spread it around. Just give it a couple of taps just to get the extra air bubbles out. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to place this into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 40 minutes. And when we take it out, we're gonna let it cool down at room temperature for about half an hour, then place it into the fridge for about eight hours or overnight. Okay, so I've just taken this out of the fridge. It's been there overnight and it's turned out fantastic. You have that chocolate layer base there. You have the white middle part and the chocolate top. So it's not only going to be a great tasting cheesecake, it's a great looking cheesecake too. But let's give it a try. Oh, that is delicious. It really, really is. You have a mix of that cream cheese, the lemon and the chocolate. It really does go very, very well. Now, as an alternative to lemon, you can also use orange rind, which will give it that nice Jaffa taste. But no matter if you use lemon or orange, this cheesecake is going to taste simply delish. So give it a go because it really is an incredibly simple and easy cheesecake to make. And the best part is your family will love it. Thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. A list of ingredients are down below, as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, and Homey Handy Hints channel. Please do me a huge favor by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.